Hello everyone and uh, happy holidays. I just wanted to take a second to uh, address everybody and create a video and some of the things I definitely wanted to do was take a quick second and address some of the things we did in 2019. I know that was a, it was a long and productive year for us. We had a lot going on so I thought I'd take a second and hit some of those highlights and then take a take another second to kind of refocus or take a focus or take a look at maybe what 2020 will bring us. Um, certainly I want to start out by saying uh, happy holidays and thanks everything for what you guys do. Certainly uh, Polk County Fire Rescue couldn't be as productive as we are without the efforts, the collective efforts of everyone involved. So I just want to start by saying thank you for all your hard and work in 2019 and look forward to some of the things that we're going to do together in 2020. Just a little bit of recapping of the year. Um, we've worked very hard, both internally, externally, to properly fill all the vacancies that we have. I know running a high vacancy count, uh, especially cumbersome for us because we have to uh, fill mandatory overtime. So we became a, a, uh, a target and a focus for us to fill our vacancies, and I think we've, take, we've uh, taken a lot of steps towards that direction. Um, we've increased operational staffing to meet some of our countywide needs. We've uh, instituted day trucks, which we've had success with, and we've also opened up several different, several new uh, fire rescue trucks or rescue trucks throughout the county and all those things to decrease call volumes on some of those trucks, but also to meet operational needs from a countywide perspective. Uh, we tried different ways of hiring paramedics. We did the Integrity 13, which was earlier this year. I uh, continue to welcome those guys aboard and I think that was met with a lot of success and I uh, look forward to those careers going forward. Um, we ex we became, began to address and we continue to address the industry-wide specific carcinogens that we face from our fire department perspective. We continue to look for ways to address that. Um, we wrote a grant, unfortunately it wasn't funded for uh, 25 extractors and dryers throughout the county, but we'll continue to be aggressive and look for those opportunities to find those outside dollars and find those inside dollars to address some of the issues that we're faced with from a, not only from an industry perspective, but also in uh, specific the Polk County Fire Rescue. We also begin to address our mental health challenges and what our infrastructure is for end user availability and we'll continue to do that in the current year. Um, we try different ways for decreasing the mandatory, the burden of mandatory overtime. Um, we've had a lot of people weigh in, a lot of good input. Uh, Battalion Chief Mike Way has been on the forefront of that. I thank him for his efforts, but uh, we, all, we each know the burdens of mandatory overtime. We'll look forward towards uh, building infrastructure so that we can decrease that in 2020. Uh, very big news is we saw 3531, local 3531, into an, enter into a three-year contract with the county. A lot of that was to address pay issues and hopefully address some of our attrition issues that we had in the past and hopefully we won't have those same problems going forward. Uh, we've increased staffing in the training division. I look forward to the results and the development of our personnel that will come out of that initiative. Uh, we've improved department-wide accountability in the running of our logistics department. We've introduced RFID into the accountability and inventory of our trucks and we look forward to seeing that department grow. We've had success in writing a grant for placing mechanical CPR devices throughout the county. They're on all now. They're all now on frontline rescue trucks, and uh, we're seeing re positive results of those. We've opened up two new fire stations in Mulberry and Point Siena, and we'll continue to look at uh, building and opening up those more new stations as our as time develops. Now I want to take a look at what some of our uh, 2020 focuses will be. We will continue to work hard and keep our vacancies at a low. I know that is directly correlated to how many times we have to run mandatory overtime. So that will continue to be our focus and we'll continue to work hard to make sure we're properly staffed. I'll work hard in the current year, at least in the beginning of the year, to make sure that we're um, replacing some of the turnover we've had at the command staff level. I look forward to placing a new assistant chief permanently here very soon. I look forward to placing a deputy chief of training and we also look forward to replacing Chief Lincolns, who will also create another deputy chief um, opportunity for us. And looking forward in the next year and a half or so, we also have to uh, the burden of replacing our fire marshal and our operations chief, our deputy chief of operations. So certainly we've got a lot of turnover coming up, a lot of new exciting opportunities for us, and I look forward to effectively filling those positions as we move forward. We will continue to challenge the service that we provide to our county and look for ways to improve that. Another one of our focuses will be to challenge and uh, look at what service we provide throughout our county. One of the specific improvements I look forward to instituting is uh, the mini pumpers, which will be at, uh, 
Janfield, and Saddle Creek area. Those uh, institution of those mini pumpers will be designed to decrease wear and tear on the engines, but also provide a better service to our community. So we look forward to getting those in, in service and we'll certainly evaluate that for the intended result. We will continue to make training in our, our department-wide training a focus. And I also look forward in the next 30, 45 days, um, instituting an officer development program where we'll have every line level captain, every line level battalion chief in participating in a 40-hour officer development class. I think that'll have great results for our department. I look forward to that happening very soon. Our collective exposure to our fire service related carcinogens is something that we continue to work on and we'll continue to work on ways to alleviate that by instituting hoods, carcinogens, particulate blocking hoods and those of the like. And we'll also look at ways to take advantage of maybe some AFG federal dollars to alleviate some of that. I know we weren't successful in getting our extractors built, but there's another grant opportunity coming up and we'll definitely have that as uh, one of the things we'll try to accomplish. We'll continue to plan for and look at a state-of-the-art training center for Polk County. That's one of the things that ESCI recommended and took a took a, a stance on, and we'll continue to look for ways to fund that and get that as a reality in Polk County here real soon. And we'll look forward to uh, continuing instituting our paramedic career path. So not only are we obligating people to become paramedics, but we're providing a, uh, a financial incentive and a career path incentive. So just a quick look at some of the things that we have uh, on our plate for 2020 and some of the areas we'll focus on. I just want to run those down for you guys. But I did want to tell everybody, thanks for the service that you provide. It does mean something to our community. Um, I just want everybody to take a, a second, if they would, to, to count their blessings because we have a lot to be thankful for and also challenge ourselves for the challenges of uh, 2020 and get ready to face those collectively. So as I wrap this up, I just want to tell everybody thanks for what you do. I want to wish everybody a happy and prosperous holidays and a, uh, and a great new year. Um, thank you very much.